Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Delightful Creation. I'm Amber. Today I decided I wanted to go ahead and play along with Tanya from Taddy Treasure. She is doing a Facebook challenge uh, for the month of March. I believe she does them every month. I don't know, I'm just new to finding this out and I thought it would be fun to play along with her. So for her Facebook challenge, this is week one and we are to use um, this specific digital kit and make some ephemera. So a super easy challenge. Um, I'll link her original video down below so you can check it out. But this digital kit is gorgeous. It's daisies, which is my second favorite flower. I love lilies, but I really love daisies as well. And um, this is by Collage Type. Right here is the Etsy store name. And it's called Delicate Daisy Grunge Junk Journal. And you get an entire junk journal kit here. I've printed out all the pages. So these are all my ephemera pages. And um, these are actually the journal pages. Some of them are front and back, like this is a back. And other ones I left blank because I don't know exactly what I want to do with it, but I want to have enough room where I can add in other pieces and then still have plenty of space for writing. So I'm not going to be playing with the actual journal today since the challenge is for making ephemera. And she went ahead and she already had all her pieces cut out. And um, I literally just took these out of the printer. So um, <laughs> mine aren't cut out. So I will do that off camera um, for what I want to cut out and use. As far as my, my main pieces, I printed this one on some creamy cardstock just to see the difference in the lightness because it's more grungy. And then I wanted to have a blank piece um, in my actual journal and I decided, well, it doesn't really make these white daisies pop as much. So then I went back to my, my white paper. So that'll be fun. So let me just go ahead and cut these down and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so that was really fun. I cut down all the really big pieces and the journal cards and that kind of a thing. And then I cut out a few of the smaller fussy cut type pieces. I did use my postal scissors around the postal stamps um, just to save time of cutting around the square and, and making it look like that. I just used my scissors. But I still have quite a few pieces left to fussy cut out. I just chose not to use these um, for right now for today just because I'm kind of in a time crunch and I want to get this done before I have to leave. Um, but definitely want to use some of these pieces for sure. And um, so I'm not for sure how many ephemera pieces we're supposed to make, but I believe she made four. So I thought I would do a tag, which is right here, super easy, okay? And I wanna do a belly band with this. So a belly band embellishment. And then, so I'm gonna do my tag here. And then um, I printed on some of these pages are like double-sided and I didn't mean to do that. Like this is the front one and then this side is upside down. So that's kind of a bummer. <coughs> Excuse me. So I thought I would use, um, so see, here's the page here, the actual one. And I thought I would just use one of the ones that I printed on kind of the wrong way, maybe, um, and turn it into something else. But then I saw that there was a, quite a few journal cards here. Oh, this, this is what I wanted to make. I want to make this into a little notebook and fold it so it has a flap. I think that'll be super cute. Um, and so what I was thinking with one of these was making an envelope, but now that I'm looking at it, it's just, it's not going to be the right pattern. It would look really weird. So I'm not going to make an envelope. I think we will do, let's see here. I'll let you look at that while I, <laughs> I scrounge through here. Because some one of them I did print double-sided with two background papers, and I didn't mean to do that. It just, my printer just automatically thinks I want to print double-sided. So right here. So on this one, I'm going to turn it into an envelope, and I think that'll be super cute. Okay, so let's start, let's just start with the envelope. So I'm going to cut it down. So the journal itself is going to be, um, you know, as big as the pages are, which you could maybe make it print wire or borderless, but I just left it however it is um so it's going to be eight and a half by 11 but to make my um envelope i'm going to make it an eight by eight envelope and then we'll have a nice bit here for scrap um i guess it doesn't really matter does it eight by eight <clears throat> actually let me trim off the white because i don't want to have white on my flaps per se so, sorry about that. I thought I knew what I was doing. I thought I'd turn the camera back on. <laughs> and I just decided to do an envelope last second there because I was going to use one of the other journal cards and just um, decorate it up and turn it into like a journal card pocket. But now we're doing an envelope. Okay, now I'm ready. So let's just make sure it's still going to be eight, I think. Okay, so eight. 
by eight. You need an eight by eight square. I mean, you don't have to do it that way, but for some reason, that's the number that I like. Okay, I'm throwing these little bits away. I'm not gonna fuss around with tiny scraps anymore. And so there we go. So let's clear off some of this stuff here. Some of these lovely, lovely pieces. And so this is gonna be upside down, and this is kind of an all over pattern. So I'm gonna make this be the inside of my envelope. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is you can make your envelope go this way and be a really skinny one, or you can do the di diamond shaped one. So I'm gonna try to do the diamond shaped one. I did watch a couple of videos on how to make like an origami type of envelope pocket. So we're gonna try, um, we're gonna try, <laughs> okay. Um, and then we're gonna fold this up to not quite the middle, but pretty close, like that. And then we fold this up like that. And then you take this side, nope, this side, and fold it over on itself. And then on the other side, you're gonna wanna fold it a little bit further over so you can tuck this inside of here, if that makes any sense. You want one of your flaps to be a little bit longer so it will overlap, um, I guess is the best way for me to describe that. So I'm gonna line up my flat edge here and I'm still making it look kind of kind of neat. I mean, maybe that's not what you're supposed to do, but that's what I'm going to do. And I know that this will fit in my notebook or my journal, I mean. I don't have to worry about it like that. And then we're going to just simply bring our flap down um, in here once we get this inside of here. So you can, it's not like technically an origami thingy. Um, but that's this is the way that I'm doing it. And so I'm gonna glue this to here. And so I have a pocket here in the front and then I can have a pocket in the back. So it's a really nice thick pocket all over pattern. And then on the back side, it's gonna be like this really pretty, pretty paper here. So I'm gonna fold this down. I should have scored it, but I didn't. And I don't know, I watched actually, I watched, watched Sandy, uh, I think it's Sandy's Creations. And she made it, she followed Pam's one where she did like a little bird mouth down here on hers. And I don't know how to do that. I, I tried watching her do it, but I don't know how to do that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to run a bead of glue all the way across here on mine and then tuck these in. So you have basically, if I don't glue my flap shut, um, you would have, let me just see here if I can, oh yeah, I got stuff right here. So you have a pocket here on the side. So you have one and then you have two, and then you of course have this big one here, three and four, and you can even have five if you glue it down right. Um, so I thought that would be kind of a fun thing. I've never made one of these before. So let's go ahead, add a bead of glue, and then this one's done. She didn't decorate any of her pieces. Um, I mean, she played around for an hour, so I was like, goodness gracious, I don't have an hour. <laughs> so um, I don't know if we're gonna get to decorate either today, maybe a little bit. I did pull out some lace up there. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to trying to copy what she's doing. I, I love her accent and she makes a lot of beautiful like folios and she does play around with Tim Holtz a lot. And she said she was really into this grunginess right now. And she thought that the daisies would be a nice way for her to use up all of her extra Tim Holtz pieces, which is a lovely because I have some of my Tim Holtz papers left as well. And um, so I'm pretty excited to be able to to play around and, and use up my Tim Holtz stuff too. All right, so I've got my whole bottom glued down. I might take it to the sewing machine and stitch around there. That might make it look really cute. Um, and so my top flap is a little bit flimsy because the rest of it is um, is not, but if you wanted to, I just thought of this, you could just tuck this in here, maybe. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna try something on camera. I've never done it before. I'm gonna tuck that in there and just see if that just makes it look like a, envelope still but have it's kind of like a pocket and it looks like a fake envelope yeah I'm gonna pull it back out I'm gonna leave it up because I think I'm gonna glue mine on the page to look like an envelope and then I'll just have this this kind of flap here so you should cut these triangles down if you want it to like fit better but I'm not gonna fuss with it okay so there's my envelope my base and then on this one I want to make it into a little notebook so I want to fold it I'm actually gonna fold this flap first and I'm gonna do it as straight as I can and that's why I left the little bit of white edge because it gives me a little bit of playroom where I can fold that 
because I don't want it to be completely over the top, like flush up in here. I want a little bit of space so I have enough room to open it and add some pages in here without it being too bulky, I guess. And yeah, I don't want to see the white edge on the front. Okay, so there we go. It'll be like a little notebook that you can open up and write in. And I think <clears throat> I think that looks really cute. So then each side on the back has that nice white border, which you could ink up or stitch or whatever. And so that's this one's base. And it's already so gorgeous, you really don't even... See, this is one that I goofed up. <laughs> I printed it on both sides, so my pockets um, are printed on a different page, which actually, I don't think I reprinted those pockets. So I'll have to go back and do that because I really want to use those pockets. All right, anyways, um, so here's our tag. I want to use, well, I want to use this one because it's a little bit lighter in color. So I'm going to go all the way up. There we go. And then I'm just going to back this. Oh, I guess I could have folded it in half. I'm just going to back this. Let's see if we are lucky enough to have, oh, no, nope, it's a little bit too small lucky enough to have a piece of that. So I'm going to grab something from my scrap box over here. It likes to sit over here nice and easy. Here's some really grungy coffee paper. That'll work perfect. And I'm going to put that for my back. You might still see some of this through that coffee paper, which is kind of a neat, a neat little thing, I think. Um, and so then I'll still have this tag left too, which will be really cute. I'm really excited to do the belly band. I'm, I That was like one of the first things I saw those pieces of like um, fake washi or whatever, like sticker edging. And I was like, yes, I'm making a belly band. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit of, cause I am going to stitch around my tag. I think that's going to be really fun. So I don't really need a ton of this fabric fix, just enough to hold on my, my piece of copy, copy, copy dyed paper. I'll try to say that fast. Copy, copy dyed paper. Whew. Okay. My fabric fix is like way gunked up. And this is almost gone. We're having problems in the craft. <laughs> I have no glue. It's a sad day when you have no glue. <laughs> oh, terrible. Okay. I think we'll make do. So I'm going to put this down here at the bottom. So you really want to get some of that stain on there. See? Oh, isn't that cute? Okay. So I'm going to let that sit for just a second. On my belly band, I know it's a little bit longer than one of my pages for my journal, just a touch. So I'm gonna cut it down to size. And that way I don't have to worry about decorating something that is too much. There's a little tiny piece of something. Okay, so now this will fit on one of my pages. I want this to be thicker, so I am gonna back this with something. And I want it to stick out a little bit because I want it to be a little bit fatter than that. So I'm going to call, uh, do what Julie Julie calls build a belly band where you take pieces and bits, scraps of paper and you make a belly band out of it. Um, mine's not her true fashion of that, but I, that's where I learned it from. Okay. So I'm just going to trim this one here down. Nothing really too exciting, but this kit is so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love daisies. Okay. Let me see here. I can find something like right right here this would be perfect it's a little bit shorter than what I would want and this is actually a piece of cardboard from a scrapbooking paper so let me ah, scrap box is still massively heavy <laughs> I have to like way bend down to grab something okay so I'm just looking for a little bit thicker piece of cardboard or cardstock. So I think this is just white, which is kind of a bummer. So I wanted some pattern stuff going on in the background. Let me see really quickly here if I can find anything else. And I know that it's not going to be tall enough. Um, oh, I don't want to spend a whole ton of time looking. I, mean, I know that's not gold will be really pretty, but it's not, it's not long enough because all of my scraps now are quite quite short and small. Is this one probably just as long? Oh, that'll work. Okay. There we go. There we go. See, isn't that pretty? It's a pretty paper. Okay. Now black might be a little bit too much, but I just want to like frame it in really cutely. And so that means I need to trim this down a little bit because I want an edge on there and still have it fit on my 
paper, if that makes sense. My, my page and still have a frame around it. So I need my piece to be eight and a half long. Really, really close to eight and a half. It doesn't have to be exact. It can be a little bit smaller. Okay, and then this is just yeah, about an inch and a quarter. So I definitely want a pretty nice frame around it. Like that might be a little bit too much though. Yeah, I'm gonna go inch and a half. So just a quarter, quarter inch frame around the daisies. Super simple, but it really, it, it's going to strengthen my belly band and it's going to add a nice, really bold border. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And so I might do that throughout some of the pieces in here, um, where I add these pops of black. I think that looks really cool. And maybe even, um, <clears throat> now I have no glue, right? Let's see if the art glitter glue is unclogged. <laughs> um, maybe even add some glitter to it. Like we're really gonna jazz up this journal. I'm so excited to play with it. It's so pretty. So thank you, thank you, Tanya, for hosting this challenge. And I need to get my glue situation under control. I'm spending a lot of time messing around with glue. Like I said, guys, I haven't been down here, so everything's all dried up. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, this is really fun. And you get to play along with her all month long. And then she does a giveaway um, for all of those who do participate. And you have to do it each week. You have a start date and an end date. You have to post your stuff, um, a photo or a video. So you don't have to do a video. So I don't know if I'll do videos all four weeks. But I for sure wanted to do it at the beginning just to kickstart it. Get myself a little bit of... Uh, motivation and uh, you know accountability to it's not exactly straight and that's one of the reasons why I don't like using art glitter glue but that's okay it's good enough it's good enough okay so we have a belly band a tag that we backed I'm gonna use this for my little notebook and then we have this really cute envelope so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just decorate this envelope because it's really really boring and I want this to stay shut so maybe I need to I think I need to refold it maybe just a little bit so it doesn't come down as far because I need to add you no know, that's fine I want to add like something on here so I have a closure on there and without fighting too much to tuck it in Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Maybe a little postage stamp will do. And it's really, it's just regular, well, it's not regular coffee dyed paper. It's like 28 pound coffee dyed paper. So it's still, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to fake glue it. Okay, let's find one of these other little stamps. Yeah, this one. I want one that goes horizontal. Wait, look, we got a glue again. Oh my goodness. Um, And so I'm just going to go ahead and attach that to my flap. And then it's just going to float, but it's going to help hold it down. So especially if I add something else to it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to attach it right to my flap. And I don't know why this thing is so gunked up. Because I put the lid back on it and I cleaned it out. Ugh, okay. I think I need to add more glue to my tube and add a little bit of acetone and tone it down a little bit. Because it's getting plugged up in the tip. <laughs> it worked great. Until now, right? Okay. So yeah, I'm going to add maybe, uh, I don't know. I want to add a little bit of lace here and there. But I don't want it to be too bulky where I'm going to be writing in the journal. I like the lace on the edges or tabs, things that you pull out so I can pull it out and then write on it. So there we go. Now we're back in action. I'm just going to lay this down flat. Oh no, I shouldn't have glued the whole thing. Okay, so I jacked up. Uh, <laughs> I messed it up. I only need to glue on the on the flap, and I was going to do that in the beginning. Okay, so we just won't lay that down and shut it, because otherwise I won't be able to open that back up. Now that's why I like Fabrifix, because you can just, like, quickly get rid of it, and now we're fine. Okay, so I do want to fix this edge, because I don't like that there's a bunch of white on there. You can really see that on the, on the bottom of the thing there. Now it really blends in. I like that. Okay. So, let's see here. That's super cute. Oh my goodness. I almost want to put something else on there, but let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, just a big old heart. I don't think I'm going to have anything else that's going to work here in my little bin. 
Okay, so I guess we'll leave that one for now. And on this one, I think I do want to add a little bit of lace on the edge. And I'm thinking this one on the top here. I think that makes it look, it does hide that daisy face though. What if I put it, because I'm not, you know, I don't want it to be where you're going to write. What if I use the smaller one? I haven't had a chance to play around with this yet. So this is really delicate, really dainty looking lace. Yeah, let's use this one. Okay. So we'll line that up. I don't even know if this is called lace trim, whatever. To me, I use the terms interchangeably. It's probably bad, but that's what I do. Now I've got to wait for this to come down. So let's see here. We want to glue on this side, I believe. And I'm just gonna have it be on the front of here. And so when I open it, it'll look pretty over here too, but I'll be able to write. So that's gonna be really nice. So we are starting to decorate. We're on, we're on the right track. <laughs> so I hope you guys um, will join in this challenge. It's really, really fun. And she doesn't make it super difficult for you to participate. It's just a nice way to, to show support to our other crafty YouTube friends. And of course, small um, Etsy shops and and that's kind of what I'm feeling like I want to do this month. And yeah, why not? There we go. Isn't that pretty? Get that little bit of extra. So cute. I almost want to put something else on the front of it, but I don't want to cover up these daisies. Hmm. Because I would like... Maybe that? I like those flowers, though. That's what I was thinking. Okay, I'm leaving it. I'm just leaving it with some lace. We're leaving it for now. Okay, now on this one, I want to have the big fat lace. I want to have that for my topper, my, my pull-out part. So I'm just going to take it. I'm going to cut down one, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five tabs. Because that first one looks like it I might be a little sticky from this tape here. We'll find out. Okay. And so I just want to have a little lace pull-out tab. I think that's so cute. And let me go again with this fabric fix. Oh, so yeah, I probably will take some of these to my machine and stitch them. But I don't know. I've been doing a lot of sewing lately. And I have to re-thread the, the thing. And that takes time. And yeah. <laughs> we'll see how we feel. I'm still working on all my 10 journals. As of right now, I haven't done anything else in them. Decided to work on this one, but this is just easy day. This is just an ephemera day, so I'm just about got the glue. I apologize, you guys. Usually this is a lot quicker, so I'm going to put it on the front and the back. And then I'm going to put this down and flip it over. I probably should have done the front first <laughs> so I could see where I'm laying it up. There we go. Okay, there. Cute little lace. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, I like that a lot. And I think... Mm, I think I want to add this little heart over here, maybe. It's not... I was going to put it down in the corner, but I want to put it up here. Here we go again with no, no glue. All right, there we go. I can hear my boys running around upstairs. That means they're getting a little bit rambunctious. Oh, but I don't want to hide that. I'm going to put it down here. I don't want to hide the, the stamped thing there. I just want to have a little bit of, oops, sorry, decoration going on here. Okay, so my belly band um, is where I want to do my layering and kind of do it like a, a snippet roll type of thing. Um, so let's go ahead and I definitely want thankful on there. Maybe I'll do thankful in the middle since it'll be the only one with the word. And then I think we will do a daisy stamp. Yeah, daisy stamp. And then at the bottom, this is going to be too big. <clears throat> See, that's why I should have cut out something small. So let's do something small down here at the bottom. Let's do this circle yellow daisy looking thing down here. And that'll be my three elements on my belly band. And I think that'll look really cute. Because there's 
<clears throat> excuse me, I've got a tickle in my throat. There's some pages that are pretty dark where I'm not going to be able to write on, but I'll be able to add this belly band to one of them and tuck my writing inside of there. So I like that. Okay, so I like that there's different shapes and there's different angles going on, and I'm just going to go ahead and glue these guys down. Kind of like in the middle. And then they hang off a little bit, which I really like that because it adds a little bit extra dimension. It makes it a little more 3D, and I just, I really like that. I want to, this one needs to go that way. I'm going to make it go this way anyways. And I want to add two little things in the center of those. So I have five elements that we're really looking at. So let's see here what I have. Um, I have another little heart. I have a silver heart. Should not really feel on the silver hearts. Um, let's do, let me see here. I'm looking really quickly. I'm trying to hurry. Ah! What if I just do, um, what if I just stamp something on there? Let me see what we have over here. I, um, I have a bunch of words and I have these cute little things. It's so hard to line up stuff sometimes. Okay. Let me grab my, let me grab my ephemera folder here. I'm sure there's something in here we can use. There's almost always something in here. Of course, I go right to the butterflies. Okay. You can't really tell that that's a butterfly, though. I need to really ink the edge up. And I love this one. I've been saving it, but it's too big. Mm, let's see here. I don't want a black one. Let's go with... There's a really neutral one. No. Too, it would blend in too much. Okay, let's look in here. I think I'm going to add this cute little birdie. He's kind of inked up. And a little bit of pink, a little bit of sparkles, kind of grungy because I tried inking the edge and it got carried away. It got way too much ink. So I'm going to stick him on here. Plus he's looking off here. He's like flying away. I'm going to put him right here. Super pretty. Okay, let's find one more thing. So we have a bird. We have an owl. I have a different bird with... It's not really that dynamic. I have some flowers. Let's see. Some other birds. Some of the same bird. <laughs> yeah, I went through a whole bird phase at one time. Um, kind of like maybe you want to put this little tag on there. Because then I could write. I know, let's do the tag and then I'll stamp. I'll do a quick stamp on there. I think I'm going to do my stamping in this green here. Modal on. I have no idea what this is going to look like. Oh, now we're getting crazy. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, it's not glued down, so if I don't like it, we don't have to use it. And I think I just want to do, well, I was gonna just do another little flower bunch, but I really want to use these hearts. Yeah, let's go for it. Just use the hearts, just do it. Just do it. And this is like a stamp I've never used before, so I'm gonna try to get it close to the top. We'll see how it goes. There, just so it's like hanging down. Isn't that adorable? Oh, so cute. Um, of course, I want to stamp off onto something. Oh, we'll stamp off onto this one. There. Okay. And oh, that's so cute. I want to add a string through there, um, but I don't think I have anything that tiny. Oh, I lied. Just found this um, silver, or not silver, gold elastic sticking out. Probably left over from something from Christmas. And I just want to have just a little bit of it. So I think we'll go right there, sticking out the edge, and that is going to look super cute. And I'm going to try to get both of these through this hole. I might have to. Yep, I'm going to have to poke my hole here um, and make it a little bit, like rough it up a little bit. I need it to be a little bigger. <laughs> okay, hopefully I can get these through there now without too much hassle. Come on. Oop, 
Sorry, guys. There we go. I just like to do the loop because then I don't have to tie it on there. And I, I don't know. I just like the way it looks. And then I just tie my, my thing at the top. And so this um, would probably come undone. So because it's elastic, it's not going to want to stay. But I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to just glue it down. It's just there for decoration. And that does add a little bit of bulk, but I'm not I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it because this is going to be um, on the edge. And if I end up not liking it, I can just take it off. Not a big deal. I can totally untie that. Okay. So there we go. I fully decorated my belly band. And I think I'm going to end this video because we're like at 30 minutes. I'm going to make it go downward because everything else is kind of looking like that. I don't want to smear my my stamping. Okay, guys, so that is my quick ephemera video. We made a tag with a lace tab. We made the belly band. We made a little envelope with a daisy type of closure. And then we have my little writing notebook that I just added some lace to. So I hope you enjoy. I hope this inspires you. And we'll talk to you guys all really, really soon. Bye, everyone.